First question is from Tom LeBlanc. Official, is getting 10,000 steps in one shot any better or worse than getting those 10,000 steps throughout the day? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, it's actually probably better throughout to, the day to spread them out. Now, if your goal is to improve your stamina and endurance, let's say you want to compete in something that requires you to like you know wear yourself out and push yourself, then you want to mimic that kind of competition with your training somewhat, right? So some of the benefits of doing all 10,000 steps in one shot would be you're going to push stamina and endurance a little more. But in terms of longevity, fat burn, muscle sparing, you're better off spreading out throughout, throughout the whole day. And there are studies that support this. There are studies that have compared two 30-minute sessions of cardio to one 60-minute session of cardio. And they, they do allude to the fact that the two 30-minute sessions – tend to burn more body fat and tend to preserve uh, more muscle. So spreading it out is probably your best bet. I would also make the case for energy and mood too. I mean, uh, doing one hard bout of 10,000, basically that's like running for an hour, right? Or mm. about an hour, a little over an hour or so. Uh, if doing it, and then you're done. And then if you have the rest of your day, you were sedentary. Like let's say you did that at five o'clock in the morning, right? And right. then all day long, you're pretty much sedentary mm -hmm. the rest of the day. Uh, your energy levels, your overall mood, I think would be greatly improved if you took that same amount and you broke it up over, you know, instead of two, even 30 minute sessions, forget that, just walking mm. 15 minutes on, on the hour, every hour mm -hmm. for the whole day. Just, Way more productive. Yeah. Just getting up and, and getting blood flow. And I think that what that would do for your, your mood and energy, I would make the case. It's also better too. Yeah. Yeah. I've just seen too, uh, where companies have found when they give more of these short breaks for, for activity and for them to go out and go for a walk and, uh, you know, do things physically, like coming back to, you know, get back on task. Uh, they found, you know, workers have been a lot more productive. Uh, it just, it just re-stimulates, uh, you know, cognitive function. You get all these benefits to it. So it's something that I think, I think just spreading it out throughout the day is just a, a lot better strategy. But I, I can understand if you are trying to really press yourself endurance wise, like you have to have a spe specific goal for that. Yeah. Behaviorally speaking, because remember a lot of this advice, uh, you know, I talked about the studies. We talked about which one probably works a little better. But a lot of my opinion is also based off of just my experience training people, um, everyday people. And behaviorally speaking, if you can attach some walking to other daily rituals, you're far more likely to do it long term. So what does that look like? Well, an example would be um, after breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I walk for 30 minutes. Now, because I attached it to three things that I already do every single day, I always have breakfast, I always have lunch, I always have dinner. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ritualize something else to something that I already do, which is the eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So now I'm going to walk 30 minutes after each one. The odds that I'm going to maintain that and keep it consistent long-term are much higher. Spreading out your activity works that way. It just does. If I tell a client to, and it sounds like it wouldn't be that way, right? If I told a client, hey, devote one hour to working out versus, hey, do 20 minutes of exercise after each meal or after uh, you know things you do, you would think, oh, the one hour carved out, somebody could stick to that more long-term. It actually doesn't work that way. In practice, people are far more likely to be consistent when it's kind of spread out through, throughout the day, especially when it's attached to things that they do on a regular basis. So, you know, generally speaking, you're better off getting the 10,000 steps throughout the day, integrating it into your life than you are doing it all in one shot. But if you were to compare them and they were consistent and they were perfect in terms of results, you probably would still see better results from a fat loss, a muscle preserving standpoint with the spread out. But it's it's not a huge difference, but you probably would still see a difference.